and the salty crackers take on this Robert Cremo guy. Because the salty cracker was saying that this is not what Trump supporters look like. That's actually wrong. And I did a video about Tom McDonald and the, the rap, the rising Donald Trump supporting rap star, Tom McDonald. And honestly, this guy, this Robert Cremo, is actually toned down compared to this, uh, this McDonald guy, Tom McDonald. But I mean... Do I think he was a Trump supporter? Hell no. I, I believe that he was Antifa. I believe he was mocking Trump supporters. I do believe he was a dangerous liberal. But the problem is, there are a lot of dangerous liberals. They're not conservatives. They're crazy liberals on the Trump side. You have to remember, before Trump, transgenderism was not a conservative thing. Trump made it a conservative thing at CPAC and was praised at CPAC for making transgenderism a conservative thing, okay? So you have to understand that. So Trump is not a conservative, and Trump supporters are not, a conserv are not conservatives. But I want to make sure that people understand, this guy looks like a Donald Trump supporter. You don't believe me? Let me show you some Tom McDonald. I'm not going to play any of the music because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but here we go. So this is Tom McDonald. Now, you will notice that this Cremo guy is actually toned down compared to Tom McDonald. Now, you remember I made a video a while back about how this Tom McDonald guy represented the cheapening of conservatism and this urban culture that is infecting conservatism and the fact that there is no conservatism. There is just greed versus crazy. And the reason I'm a registered Democrat is I think it's far easier. Now look at this guy. Look at, this is Tom McDonald. This is not an Antifa member. This is a Trump supporter. This is a hardcore Trump supporter. Okay. Now the reason I'm doing this is because now you're going to say that that Cremo guy doesn't look like a Donald Trump supporter. This guy is a Donald Trump supporter. Kanye West is a Trump supporter. Okay, you have other people. Look, this is Tom McDonald. Look at this guy. Okay, he is a Donald Trump supporter. Get what I'm saying? So you're going to say Michael, or this, uh, this Robert Cremo guy. I want to make sure that I say Robert Cremo. I think I might have accidentally said Michael Cremo. But you're saying that he does not look like a Trump supporter. Would you consider Tom McDonald too? Because Tom McDonald is not the only one that looks like that. If you look at the Proud Boys, for example, okay, what Trump did is he cheapened, he cheapened conservatism. And really, all sorts of scumbags are involved in conservatism at this point. So my point is, is you're saying that these people are not Donald Trump supporters. Well, these people that are Proud Boys and these rising hip hop stars like Tom McDonald and this Robert Cremo guy, Robert Cremo, I don't believe was a Trump supporter at all. But what I'm saying is he certainly does look like one. He certainly does look like one because you can't tell the difference between an Antifa person and a Trump supporter at this point because they're the same kind of scum. Okay. But the Proud Boys are the same kind of scum as Antifa. They're just the, they're okay. And Q Shaman. That's another thing I wanted to point out. And the, the links will be in the description. People say that Michael Cremo doesn't look like, or not, I keep saying Michael, that Robert Cremo does not look like a Donald Trump supporter. Look at Q Shaman. Look at Q Shaman. Okay. Are you saying that he couldn't play the role? A lot of people suspected that he was an Antifa member. Are you saying that he doesn't necessarily look like a Trump supporter or does he? Does he or doesn't he? Okay. My point is, is this is Robert Cremo guy looks just as much like a Trump supporter as any of these people. And the reason why is because Trump supporters are the same kind of scum 
as the liberal scum. And they're just as liberal. They're pro-trans, they're pro-gay, they're pro, uh, pro-multiracialism, they're pro-everything uh, that, the, that the radical left is, but they just call themselves Trump supporters. And then on the, on the reverse of that, you do have the radical right-wing kooks, and you have the QAnon lunatics. Okay, so my point is, what you need to understand is, yeah, people, you might get mad that people are saying Robert Cremo looks like a Trump supporter, but ask yourself, does he or doesn't he? I think it's pretty obvious, pretty obvious that he does. And I'm going to show that to you when I look at the Salty Crackers video. So, and I'm not against the Salty Cracker. I like what he does. But the thing is, dude definitely looks like a Trump supporter, okay? I don't think he was, but how are you going to tell the difference anymore? So we're just going to fast forward through this, and we're going to try and find pictures of this guy. Look, compare him to Tom McDonald. Not really much difference. Not really much difference. Same, if anything, this guy is toned down compared to him. He's toned down compared to Q Shaman. He's not as extreme looking. Now, do I think he was a radical leftist? Of course. But how many Trump supporters are radical leftists? I would say the majority of Trump supporters, whether they want to believe it or not, are actually radical leftists and anarchists. They don't want to believe that, but that's what they are when they're anti-government. A lot of Trump supporters are anti-government. They're radical anarchist leftists. They don't want to admit that, but that's what they are. So let's call things what they are instead of making up crap. 